Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Can You Cook That? I'm your host, Dan Longton, and thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned to watch our contestants take on today's challenge. The grand prize tonight will be a stay in one of Keene's most prestigious hotels, so let's get to know our teams for this evening, shall we? On the red team, we have Freya Cooney and Hannah Everidge. Freya, what is your favorite thing you have ever cooked? My favorite thing to cook is birthday cake. Birthday cake is an excellent choice. And Hannah, how about you? What is your favorite cooking experience? My favorite cooking experience was making cake for Freya, actually. Wow. Duo team right there. Okay, and that's great. On to the blue team. We have Kate Dion and Haley Parker. Oh, look at that precision. Oh, excellent. That looks excellent wow. right there. That, that looks pretty was excellent. Now, that's some Good jam board. right there if I haven't seen anything. It's getting this cheese and ham ready now. Oh, the ham's going in already. And they're going right with the sliced ham, not, not even cut. It's going to be beautiful. Still working over here to get that egg Absolutely nice and shaped. beautiful. All right. Egg, start, egg starting to cook. Seems as if uh, Team Red's having a little bit of trouble with that skillet as... Uh, this has been top, so it was top chips of eggs is thickened in no visible. It's definitely hard to work with, but... It's thick. It's thickened we'll in no visible, so don't do it yet. Oh, you see, they have a little oh, they technique going on. At the same yeah. Time. Mm -hmm. Got it. Dropped him. <laughs> There's him on the floor. We're going to move over here to Team Red now. And as you can see here, it, this is going to be a little bit more challenging for them due to the fact that they are cooking with an iron. But right off the bat, you hear that nice sizzle. Oh, the, and the cheese <gasps> sticking on beautifully to the iron. <laughs> I didn't have a plastic knife like I did before. <laughs> How's this working out for you so far? You know what? Better than I thought it would. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the goal is to just get as good a quality product as we can um, to the New Yorkers, you know, because I know what that's like. So, <laughs> that's like yeah, but we got a great chef over here. Yeah, I could tell Don't right off the bat. Looks <laughs> like he's used this iron before to cook a pizza. The effort's there. Well, we are in college. <laughs> that's very true. Originally from Rhode Island. I don't know what that says. That doesn't mean that our work is happening just smooth and without any problems. We're, we're starting to also see systems in the region struggling because when we talk about it being family driven, family driven is me talking to the family like if it's Deli, I'm talking to her and I'm hearing from Deli in terms of what's important to her. And sometimes that is in great conflict with the school district mm. or with DCYF or juvenile justice. And that's where we have to help them start to see this in a different way. And I was in a conversation just the other day with a group of people and they were saying, so why did we have to get to the point of having a system of care work in the state? And I said, well, I think most of it's because everything has been depleted. We voted these things in. We voted things out. And now we're coming back. And, but the advantage is we're bringing families back in a different way. And that's probably the most important piece of this work. 